The following video has been approved by the Jetty marketing team. The video has been rated Jetty. The following video may not be suitable for all viewers. G'day mate, welcome back to Dyson Sphere with me, Jetty. And um, today, today with the sun rising on a new day, we have a few things we need to do. First off is finish that first research. We have a second research, it's 120 packs. Hopefully there's 120 back packs over here in our little buffer box, because this has run out of titanium already, which is not a good sign, but that's okay. That's okay. What we're gonna do is we're gonna try and set up a couple of things. Now, I need for these guys, we're planning ahead, we're planning ahead. Uh, I need for the spaceships themselves, I need 10 processors each, plus I need some of that uh, high strength titanium alloy, which we've just unlocked the ability to make. So we need to set up those, plus we need to set up the, or, or do something about getting the processors. And I think you guys need processors as well. Yes, so there's a couple of things that need processors, which means we need to convert our silicon into micro crystalline components yeah transistors all right so first thing we're going to do is remove that whole belt and i'm going to run that whole belt down here because silicon seem it it has a couple of uses a couple of uses for right now because we don't have any silicon silicone the only thing that i really care about is trying to make uh, production, those things. Yeah, okay, fine. Foundations. Uh, on no decoration. Oh, we don't have foundations. Alright, fine. Uh, I don't think we're going to be able to build all that. Come on, robots, hurry up. Alright, we need to grab foundations. Uh, yoink. Uh, we also need to, well, eventually grab all, all the steel. Alright. I need to do a couple of things. Okay, first thing we're going to do is we're going to build foundations. Cool. Uh, we're going to shove lack of item. Oh, I don't have slaughter mark ones. Okay. Production. Click on something. Click on that one. Pop one of them there. Put in sorter mark two, which is way overbuilt, but that's fine. Set up those, and I have no idea how many of these we can make in a row. But I'm going to assume it's six. Okay. So that gives us our uh, high purity silicon. Okay. First step done. Second step uh, is remove that. All right. Second step is to turn them into uh, the microcrystalline components, transistors. We need to add copper. Now, I don't really have uh, any copper I can grab locally. But what I do have is this really annoying patch of copper right here, which we are turning into blue science, which is run out of iron, which we'll go attempt to fix probably by taking it off that miner. Um, okay, but that copper line ends there. Now, if I was to build a giant copper line right the way across the map in a reasonably straight line, so like science gets it first, whatever's left over comes over here and runs these guys, I would be super happy because hopefully it uses up all that copper that I want to get rid of. So that's going to be our plan. One, two, three, and this becomes our output. Uh, if I set you up to do those, uh, it should be a case of belts sort it in, sort it in, sort it up, oh, sort it out, uh, yeah, all the sorters down, one, two, three, four, five, six, six it is, we're building six of them, uh, power in there, and there, and my next step is to just grab that copper belt, so, um, back in a flash. Okay, so we've brought the copper line across, and I've just noticed that one of you guys does not get power. And at the same time, I made a quick observation. So it turns out to make these guys, they just need circuit boards. That's the second research we needed. Okay, cool. 
to make the processes, the final product, the one we're aiming for, just requires circuit boards. So I've started crafting what I can in my pocket just to basically burn up some of the silicon that I have hanging hanging around in my inventory. And conveniently, at the end of Blue Science, which I have added a little bit more iron to, and it's probably still struggling, so... Do we not? No, that's all tapped. Okay. Uh, conveniently, right here, we are making some green circuits. So I just took them off the end of Science, ran them parallel to that copper belt, and what we're going to do is uh, throw in, I guess... Ugh. Ugh. Okay, we're going to bring that down. I'm going to bring it one side of the power poles. I'm going to do one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, if I remove you and I put that on there, can I get another one? Yes. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I think uh, you guys take two seconds to craft. So I'm only making four per second. And then you guys take two over three seconds. Yeah, I'm not doing the maths on that. I think, I think I can support th two of these guys. Two of these guys making processes. I don't know. I don't know. We're going to build it. We're going to see whether it works. If it does work, excellent. If it doesn't work and it's a little bit too slow, actually, you know what? I've got room to build three. We're building three now. Uh, because I can uh, I have no idea if I have enough processes. I have an uh, electronic circuit. Circuit boards. Circuit boards. Green circuits. I have no idea if I have enough of those. I have no idea if I have enough of the microcrystalline components, which I'm getting really sick of saying. But it's it's something, and something is definitely better than nothing. If I set that to that recipe, and we copy, paste, 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 and we dump a storage box on the end, like so, and hopefully we'll get a solder plugged in, Yep, we'll call that a win. Okay, so we've automated that stuff. Yeah, it's all running. Like I said, I, I have no idea. I have no idea if we're making enough silicon. I see you have a problem. Well, that's cool. There's a belt on top of a belt. With invisible belt. Okay, I'm going to do a quick save and load. Okay, so after saving, then removing the whole belt and replacing the whole belt, it seems to work fine, and more importantly, the game loaded back up. So we'll call that a win, and nothing ever went wrong, ever. Okay, so as I said, uh, we're now making processes. That's one of the components we need. We've already got 60 of them, which is good, because we need... Uh, you won't tell me. We're going to need 40 twice, so we need 80 of those guys, plus we're going to need... Uh, we're going to need these guys, which is a whole separate recipe. Uh, actually, we'll start on those, I think. Yes, so we need particle containers, which require green engines, plus they require some copper, and they require some graphene. Now, I don't actually have green engines automated en masse. I have a tiny little box here with one assembler trying really, really hard to output them. And I think there's a second one. Oh no, it is It is that exact same one who's also trying to make our Mark II belts. And as you can see, it has been very, very successful. It needs an upgrade. It needs an overhaul. But as I keep saying, this is temporary. We're going to rip it all up shortly. Actually, speaking of temporary things, I'm going to rip up shortly. Uh, you guys do not do enough copper. I thought that might be the case. Uh, good news is... Lack of iron. Well... But there needs to be a way to build it anyway. Uh, just in case you don't carry around those sorters anymore. Uh, shall not be a problem after we get a few more upgrades. We can start doing Mark III belts with Mark III sorters, which is the that is the plan. That is the plan to sort of get up to late tech as quickly as possible. Really, I'm out of those, and I'm out of. Okay, so as I was saying, uh, before we were so rudely sidetracked again, because Jetty gets sidetracked. Uh, put that down. Okay, so that should fix that copper problem. I haven't left any robots behind. Cool, because they use power the whole time they're flying after you. How many yellow packs do we have? We have 300. Can I get an upgrade for 300? No. Uh, more energy? No. 
and those all require that first pack okay we're gonna do one line of extra inventory i'm gonna have to top up the titanium to get a little bit more out to make that happen all right we need this stuff uh turns out i also need copper which i left all the way back there but that's okay we can pick up titanium at the same time we'll just keep bouncing back and forth across the map filling up my inventory with bits and bobs and things and stuff uh can i get all of that and then we need so i need 20 40 of the pink things plus i need another 20 40 to upgrade them to the interplanetary towers so we need to have 20 40 80 i need 80 i'm out of copper that belt will not help those smelters will help 300 uh, that's lots you know what we're probably going to need them for something else all right craft up all of those all right that's that problem sort of sorted uh we want to delete that crap take our stone throw our stone in there which magically makes it disappear we'll take that we'll take some more titanium that much i'm hoping that much actually we'll take less titanium Alright, because our final ingredient we needed was... Oh, steel. Okay, we'll come... Uh, Alright, we'll come back to steel. Yeah. Alright, uh, titanium in the titanium box, crystal in the crystal box. Uh, yeah. And 300, that's all you get. Hopefully that's enough. Okay, uh, titanium alloy is on our list. Okay, that is titanium, that is steel, and that is acid. Conveniently, there we go. One extra line of inventory space. Awesome. All right, conveniently, somebody in their infinite wisdom decided to fill up a couple of uh, glass flasks full of sulfuric acid. Uh, so we're going to run an acid line out here. And I'm going to make some titanium alloy. Now, ooh, we need power. Alright, boss, you finished doing what you're doing? Actually, actually, I'm going to cheat. I'm going to put that there, that there, that there. We'll charge up from the base. We'll go into god mode. That way I can keep building and not moving. Uh, we're going to do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I can fit nine, we're doing nine. Okay, so you guys are going to need to do the recipe titanium alloy. Uh, on top of that, you guys are going to need an output belt, which we shall put here. You're going to need an input belt for steel, because I do not have steel up here. Yep, we already lost a chunk of space. Uh, can I get a storage box? There, it turns out. And can I get another? Oh. At the end of a very long queue. Yeah, we, we really need to have our workshop 2.0 built, but you know, it's it's on the way. It's it's a stepping stone. Okay, we need to build that belt as well, and this one we're not going to use the mod for because we're at such a weird spot on the map. Uh, I just don't know how well it would work, so we need sorters. Okay, uh, I can throw down the power poles. All right, what we're going to do is we're going to come back in just a second uh, after I've gone and got some power. Uh, actually, we'll leave these guys here. Uh, go and grab some power. At the same time, we're going to need titanium uh, and steel. Titanium. We've done one half. Uh, so we just need steel. Lots and lots of steel. Alright, we shall be back. And then if we put a storage container here, we should... 
be able to make some titanium alloy, which uh, makes five per minute. So it's a super fast crafting time. Good to know. All right. But it does make four in the five per minute. So it's actually 20 per minute. So it's not too bad. Uh, but they all look like they're working. Uh, you're still waiting on steel, which is working its way up the belt slowly. Very slowly. Still, 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 still waiting. Come on. Next batch of steel. Nope. There we go. Alright, so they're all working. Alright, so we need... Titanium and steel. Crap. Uh, I need 80, 80 steel. Uh, same amount of titanium. Okay. One. I have enough processors. Alright, flying back across the map. Go find some processors. Uh, we've definitely got enough pink things now. And I'm still crafting more because I had crap my inventory and just want to get rid of it. Alright, where are we? We're looking for steel and processors. Processors, processors, processors. Okay. So that'll get us the second one of those. Alright, that's step one accomplished. Can I cancel? Wow, I can cancel all that and nothing exploded. Cool. Uh, Alright, steel. All those. Can I get some smelters, please? Because they still didn't get automated because that copper is still in the white. By the time that copper's gone, I'm not going to need the space anymore. I guarantee it. Uh, can I put one in a bit of it? Please. Please. I need more steel. Yeah, j just going to do a safety save because these have direct ins... Oh, okay. They don't have direct insertion. Um... Uh, because I don't have the tier 2 sorters, uh, the tier 1 sorters anymore. So we're going to attempt. Now this used to crash this mod. I've been told it's fixed. I actually reported the bug to the, oh gosh. I reported the bug to the dev who swung by my stream and demonstrated exactly how it crashed. It's like, yeah, I think I can fix that. And as far as I know, it has been fixed. But what we're gonna do is we're taking a safety, safety save because I now have Mark III sorters, which means this whole thing just became a whole lot e easier. And I'm going to copy that one, and I'm going to paste that one. And it works! Cool. Uh, Alright, maybe that power pole is going to get in the way. Alright, paste, paste, uh, paste, 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 uh, power pole in there. Everything powers up. Awesome. Okay, so that should give us some steel, which is one of the critical components we need. On top of that, we now need titanium alloy. So we need to go track down some titanium alloy, which requires steel, which we, we, we just don't have currently. You know, it's a fine. We'll, we'll, we'll get some titanium eventually. All right. Uh, same time, I will grab. Uh, we'll grab a little bit. Of we're running out and we're going to grab some CPUs as well because even after we've done all of this uh, you can have an extra lap go Icarus, fly faster uh, even after we've done all this I still need to have ships which is a whole separate crafting expedition alright in theory one, two. Okay, we have our space stations, but we need ships. We need a lot of ships. Uh, okay, so we need those engines, which are green engines and titanium alloy. Just give me all of that. Uh, so we should be able to make lots of those. I can make 10, I can make 19, and then I'm out of titanium alloy. Yes. Okay, so if we cancel those and... Oh, I'm out of steel to make titanium alloy. But if we dump a little bit of steel in there, a little bit, a little bit, a little bit, just, just the tiniest amount. Uh, is it one piece of steel? It's four bits of steel. I'm looking for any steel that's got caught. We're, 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 we're that desperate. You've got three steel, give it back. Combine those two together. Uh, yes, that's the best we're going to get. Uh, okay, 
So we're going to grab the steel, the, the, the titanium alloy on a belt, plus we'll grab what there is, and craft. Done. Just. We've just scraped our way over the line with all of, I don't know, 16 titanium alloy left over. Spare. Spare. But with that done, we should be able to set up two interplanetary stations. Uh... I crafted them. Ha ha! There they are. Two of these bad boys, which should let us ship in titanium and ship uh, in uh, and and ship in titanium. Well, ship in titanium from the other planet. So what we're going to do is we're going to, for ease, I'm going to dump this up here in the corner of the base. Throw in a tiny little. Look at, look at that thing. Look at that thing. And throw it. Tiniest power ball there is. All right, we want you to bring in titanium on a demand, please. We're going to remove that little box. We're going to add in a belt uh, tab to set the filter to titanium. Okay, and then out to the rear, uh, across the narrow sea, and into. Penny went in on the other side of the build. Well, that's unfortunate. Okay. Uh, because we th this is a temporary build, but we sort of need it to run, we're going to run the titanium literally over the top of it. And yeah, I know. I know. It's going to look horrible. It's fine. It's fine. Oh, crap. There's no steel. Is there not an iron patch? There's an iron patch right there. Okay, so somehow in that iron patch that's buried in between everything, we need to make some steel, which I will definitely worry about off camera and probably not show you the results. You'll just have to pretend that it works because it's not going to be pretty. Uh, but with that set up, and do I have the ships? I have 10 ships already crafted. We'll put in 10 of the logistic vessels. And we're crafting the other 10. How full is the battery? Battery is now full, full. Uh, can I craft the rest of that purple crap to get stuff out of my inventory? Nope. How do I manage to get more of this graphene? Okay. Graphite. Graph, graph stuff. We'll just burn it. We'll burn it in the, in the pocket. Uh, we'll grab some more fuel, just in case. Uh... I definitely am going to need some more belt. I didn't manage to get any Mark II belt done. Belt, 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 belt. Uh, belt, belt. Yeah, we've got sorters. We've got everything, I think. Uh, those ships are going to be crafted in a second. And we want to go across to number one. Okay, which is... Probably sunrises on that side. No, hang on. Okay, so we're going to see the planet before we see the sunrise, or we can go the other other direction. Let's go the other direction, so it'll be just past the sun. Like... We do want number one, don't we? Okay, it's before the sun. It's before the sun. Fine, whatever. That's the planet, that's the target. Uh, that is a lot of fuel already spent. Uh, we want to avoid that planet. So again, if you look at your little look, little radar down here, you do not want to... Okay, unfortunately, I've entered the gas giant gravity well. We can see it. Oh, up. I can see it here. I can see the fact that I've, I've joined the gas giant. Which is unfortunately going to use a lot of fuel to break the... There we go. Mm, yeah, okay. Yeah, we've a lot of, used a lot of fuel and gone nowhere. Alright. Not quite max speed. Uh, we're burning through the fuel. Do you have a better burn rate? Minus 70%. Okay. 
All right. If we can get set up titanium, we can get planetary logistics. We're set. We, we, we've made progress. And then I think if we're going to keep making these jumps between planets, which we probably don't need to do nearly as often anymore. But I think it's probably time we had some better fuel because what we have currently is is not good. On top of that, like the, we, there's, a, there's a little bit of spaghetti we also need to clean up. Um, because we've been throwing things together to get to this point to have the interplanetary logistics. Come on. All right, now if you slow down before you impact, you should... And we've got a glance. Glance. Nope, that was no glancing. Okay. We failed on the glance. And we also failed on having any spare power. So let's just recharge real quick. Whilst we get our bearings. Uh, we are literally right where we need to be cool that's probably enough power uh let's just do a quick little jump to here and then we want an interplanetary tower which also needs a tiny it's, it's a giant let's do that again let's do that again okay tower bye robot who has to fly through the whole thing come all the way up here to dump it's placed at the top. Yeah. And then itty bitty little power pole beside it. Which will absolutely kill the network. As this charges up. Uh, same time we shall put our vessels in there. And then what we want to do is we want to start rounding some belts. So you're going to be titanium. I have a limit of 12 inputs. Alright, and if we look at this map, we have one, two, three, four, five raw, uh, resources. Now, I can already see that coal is only going to take one port, if I bother at all. Um, stone, you don't need in vast amounts, so I do want to spend probably two on iron, three or four on copper, and the rest on titanium. So if we say uh, iron... I am, I'll make this one, one tile shorter, copper, 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 it means everything else can be titanium. So, first belt's hooked up, uh, second belt hooked up, uh, remove, remove, third belt hooked up, uh, this is less than ideal, but that's fine. Uh, okay, so that disconnects that. Oh, you're never going to empty. Fine, whatever. Uh, that goes there. That goes there. That goes literally in a dead straight line. I'm feeling like I should have put it over here. Because that way these buffer boxes could empty properly. Is that going to be an issue? What the hell are you doing? Oh, the sword is now backward. Yeah, remove you. Remove you. Cool. Alright. Wait, wait, wait. We were trying to feed that belt in there. That belt in there. Uh, that belt up there and then we'll bring that belt in and up to there and then we had a copper oh a copper and another titanium yeah about that all right so we're going to take copper belt one over that direction copper belt two Collides with other objects. It doesn't. You're lying to me. Uh, and that's definitely titanium again. I thought for a second it was iron. Okay, so we're going to bring that belt in there. That belt uh, in there. Uh, third copper belt. I don't have a third copper belt, so we'll just leave it as is. Alright. 
We just need all these belts to be done, and then we're good to set this up. Well, we've got all our belts hooked up. We've got our interplanetary tower. The sun is about to rise on this side of the planet, and I think it's time to throw in our last... I have no idea. I can't even see them. Where are they? Our last 10 vessels. Now, you might notice that these belts are not doing anything. That's a feature. I tell you it's a feature. What you have to do is you have to set the filters on what you want allowed in here. So if we set this to copper, we can now see the copper belts are running, which means I can empty more crap out of my inventory. Uh, and the copper belts now going to run in. At the same time, if I set this to titanium, we can see the titanium belts are now running in. And at the same time, we can see that vessels are definitely leaving this planet to go out to intergalactic space and fly home and go drop off materials there. On top of that, if we come here, I can see there's already ships also leaving our home to come out here to pick up titanium because we requested titanium at home. So yeah, there's already every single piece of titanium in here is already allocated to be dragged home. Cool. Uh, on top of that, these storage boxes, I don't know if they'll ever actually empty. Like, some of them will. I don't think these guys ever will. They'll maybe eventually empty, possibly. Uh, you won't empty if you're putting more material in. Please don't. Empty, please. Okay. Uh, close that. Pick up everything. Open that up. Drop the copper in there manually. Uh, you can now go away. Uh, close that. Pick up the copper manually again. Drop that in there. And then drop whatever's left back in there. Cool. Uh, titanium. Uh, let's start with you guys because you'll probably never empty. Close. Pick up. And drop. Cool. Uh, that's one box done. Yeah. Do I need that titanium at home? No, we'll, we'll take some of it, but generally no. Okay, so with that done, we have interplanetary vessels going between planets. Oh, look at them. Well, actually, let's go out and say hello. I don't know if I can catch them. Uh, you're coming towards me. That doesn't help. You're also coming towards me. Everybody's coming towards me. Oh no, there are some flying the same direction I am. Okay. Uh, Alright, if we check our technology upgrades here. Uh, vessel navigation speed. So they run at 600 meters per second. So basically the speed I'm doing currently. If we speed up maybe we can catch them please burn fuel faster please burn fuel faster please burn fuel faster uh, nope they're coming towards me and there's a giant congo line behind me uh yeah yeah in theory we could catch them in theory we could catch them but i tell you what I tell you what, it's been a fun episode. We've got a lot done. Next episode, next episode, we're definitely going to do uh, some tidying, some neatening, uh, or maybe get it done between episodes. We shall see. At the same time, it now means once I hit the surface of the planet, because if you do things in space, you tend to get lost. So you're going to do superhero landing. Wait for it. Woo! Superhero landing. It now means wherever that station is, right there, it is now full of titanium. We've filtered both our outputs, which now means uh, we are making yellow science packs, uh, providing our organic crystals can keep up. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Uh, so what I want to do is I we'll, want to look at basically every upgrade I can possibly get for myself. Uh, which we shall talk about in the next episode. So with all that said, thank you guys so much for watching. Do hope you're enjoying. If you're enjoying, if you're new here, uh, can you do me two favors? Can you, one, click the like button. I very, very much appreciate it. Uh, two, same time. Yeah, definitely if you're new here, do me a favor, tap that subscribe button on the way out. With all that said, 
like I said, thank you guys so much for watching. Do hope you're enjoying. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Alright, bye.